Greetings and salutations. All right, another art talk tonight. So this is one of my favorite pieces. I did it a couple, so I started kind of doing the abstract art thing 2018. And then a couple years in, I started kind of playing around with what adding water to the canvas would do. So before I would actually add the paint, I would dip the canvases, both canvases in water and have them really good and wet. And then I would squirt on the paint and then do the whole squishing process that I do. And it was neat because it gave a whole different effect to how the paints worked. It's still acrylic paint, so it still has these ridges and texture. But as you can see, it also has these faded areas too. Now drying it is, you have to be particular. So when you're drying a canvas that's wet and the paint's dripping, you have to decide consciously which way do I want the paints to drip? So in this case, you know, I had the paints dripping this way and stuff, and it fits how the canvases were pulled apart. So sometimes it's a spur of the moment decision, but you do have to kind of have it ready. And so I would use like plastic um, trays and things like that to keep the house clean. <laughs> and also plastic trays with covers because cats. And you know, who wants paw prints in the, I mean, yeah, paw prints could be cute, but I wouldn't want the paw prints all over the rest of the apartment, you know? So, well, paw prints on canvas, livable but yeah it's, anyway back to the water you can see what a cool effect the water has on the acrylic paints as they blend in a whole different way and so that is tonight's chatterbox take care